Hello and welcome back. I am basically Hawkins and we have so much reveals, so much to talk about. I don't even know where to begin, but let's begin with what is the biggest deal, probably the coolest reveal as of late, and that is the secret rares of the first booster set, the Romance Dawn set. We've finally seen what the secret rares of the set are. We've seen what they do. So let's get into it and talk about them. Here they are. We have two secret rares in this set, each more exciting than the last. The first card that we have to talk about is Shanks, red-haired Shanks, the Yonko himself, one of the first characters we meet in One Piece, the man who gives Luffy his straw hat, so of course he's going to be a secret rare in the first set, and he is crazy powerful. He is a nine cost, 10,000 power slash style card. He has the four emperors and red-haired pirates typing, and he has the effects Rush, awesome already, when attacking during this battle, your opponent can't activate blocker of character with 2,000 power or less. So basically, if you're gonna block, uh, if you're gonna block Shanks, you better have a bigger blocker than Chopper on the field. Um, he is super powerful with that 10,000 power. He is definitely an end game type character with that nine cost. He's a red, so obviously he's gonna be able to be buffed even further. This is definitely the most powerful red card we've seen so far in terms of just raw power with that 10,000. So if you put, you know, if you put him in that new Zoro deck, he automatically is gonna get another thousand there. If you put him with the original starter deck Luffy, you can attach Rest of Dawns to him to max him out, you know, crazy style and so until your opponent just has to to take the hits because they don't have enough counters and things to stop. Just super cool, super powerful card. Um, you know, it's a it's a pricey card, so you, you don't want to run too many of these in your deck because you're probably not going to be able to get many of them out on the field. But this card is, is too exciting not to run one or two of if you're playing red. Uh, and this card just looks so cool too. The art in this image is so good. You can really tell when they're bringing their A game for these arts. He's got a sword. He's looking cool. What can you say? It's Shanks. Everybody loves Shanks. The other secret rare card of the first booster set is Yamato. That is exciting as well. We got an a Yamato like art reveal way back at the beginning. Uh, and you know, I, I have to assume that that art reveal is going to be the alt art of this card itself. But this card is a five cost, 5,000 power strike style card. It has Wano country typing. Obviously it's green. And it has the effects. This card's name is also treated as Kazuki Odin. Awesome. Double attack, so two attacks at once. And banish, so when it when it hits a card in your opponent's uh, life, that card just trashes. It doesn't even uh, get to activate a trigger or anything. It's just gone. So a double attack banish is super powerful because that's two life cards that you could potentially not have to worry about hitting any triggers. Very, very nice. Uh, it also has a counter 1000. Now the thing about this this uh, Yamato as we're seeing it now is the art isn't that great. Uh, it, it's an anime screenshot. It's a cool anime screenshot type thing. Uh, the background looks cool and stuff and I'm sure with foiling and stuff it's gonna look really, really good. But I'm really hoping that that other alt art that we've seen of Yamato is an alt art that you can get for this card because that other that other art looks super cool. It's some of my favorite art from, from the, the game so far. Uh, and this one, you know, this is just, this is a secret rare. You, you think they're going to bring a little something more like the, the Shanks art to the secret rares. Not saying this card's not cool. It, it is cool. And, and, and it's super good. Uh, that double attack banish, I mean, whew. I, and, and I'm sure there's going to be cards that are, that are buffed by the presence of an Odin on the field or that will buff an Odin and, and Yamato counts as Odin which I love that kind of flavoring. That's the kind of stuff that I love in these card games is when the, the uh, I don't want to say mechanics of the actual series come into play, but but the mechanics, you know, the, the lore, the things that actually happen in the show or the, the, the manga, you know, those are relevant details to the cards themselves and how they play. This is a, this is a key example. So I'm very excited about this. Uh, these secret rares uh, only get me more hype for this game, if that's even possible. There's so much more to talk about. I'll be making more videos as time goes by, making some decks. Uh, I already have some deck ideas. I I'm waiting for more card reveals before I fully commit to the decks that I've made, and I'll talk about those. 
Uh, so, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and have a good one.